What is going on, everybody? Hello! It is Pixmarters here, and welcome back to Ace Attorney Investigations. When we left off... We finally got in this place. We got into investigating the, the hideout of sorts, and we were going to get into the, some nitty-gritty stuff, but uh, as you can see, Kay doesn't want to look at me right now because <laughs> I've been making her wait 23 and a half hours to actually investigate this place further. You also had so. you also had too much coffee, and she's like, I can't associate myself. <laughs> yes. I cannot associate with but this now, crazy But now, we're going to check out this table that we wanted to search every nook and cranny of. Coffee! So let's take a look. We got like, a, there's a little map up here. A map here. of the park, I believe. A poster of Gateward Land is stuck on this wall. Yeah. Intrigue, fun, prestige. Gateward Land has it all, has it all, and it's waiting for you. It's not especially catchy, is it? <coughs> what about this little key ring thing here? Oh like, yeah. Well, I can only look at this singular key. Hmm? What if this key is too? Hmm, you got me. Probably to the blue badger mobile. Yeah. Reminds me of the key we found in the other room. That's it? This must be the key for one of those trap doors. That wasn't a trap door. You only call one because you're quite literally jumped into it. Uh, hey, but isn't that what you're supposed to do when you see one? Hey, I'm not having this conversation with you. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Is that going to be the new step ladder thing? <laughs> it's a trap oh, door. Oh, oh it's God. Just a door. <laughs> it's just a regular door. <laughs> All right. Cheap styrofoam cups. Wow. Hmm. Looks like only three cups were used. Very interesting. The coffee thing to looks keep like it was of. poured today. <laughs> Three cups. Okay, I guess we'll just try and keep that in mind. Folding chairs. Folding chairs, and by the looks of it, they were probably used by the kidnappers. Hmm. There are three chairs set around the table. Three okay. chairs and three, three chairs cups. and three cups. Combine the logic. All right, and then uh, still just three chairs. I don't care about the footy rally thing. Nothing. In the shadows. <laughs> in shadows. Okay, that's all we got for that one. And now we're going to go ahead and take a look at this mighty fine door. It's a fine door we have here. Thoroughly <laughs> broken. One more stuff. So the Easter the Island granny. head thing. <laughs> yep, nothing on the walls. Kind of looks like Squidward's house. <laughs> oh, no. <Okay. laughs> that doorknob handle thingy is looking pretty beat up. I suppose that's what happens when 10 officers break their way, into a, break their way in with brute force. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's odd. The lock on this is completely fine. Look, not a single dent. But how is that possible after what, off, what that officer told us? Yeah, if the lock had been in use when the door was busted down, then the lock itself should be completely wrecked. So the lock on the door leading to the outside is undamaged. How can that be? That's weird. I'm going to assume it must have been propped closed, maybe with whatever this is down here. That'll be my assumption. That's that the only looks like the door. <laughs> looks like a sword. A broken sword. Oh. Strange. Why would it be broken like that? Looks I like it Looks like it was used as the lock. Yeah, that's what I would say. Yeah, swords don't usually break on their own. That's true. All right, then let's think about it this way. Maybe it broke when someone was trying to use it for or on something. Hmm. Hypotheticals aren't going to get us anywhere. Perhaps we should think more on this later. All right, and this is going to be a thing with the barrels. Ooh, they have barrels like these just outside. Yes, and? Well, I know I already asked uh, you. I think it's the same one we got we earlier. We were out <laughs> there, but these were real. What would you put in them? There's an expect there's an exp expecting yeah. that. That's right. All right, and then we got. Party was hoping she was asking a third time. <laughs> yeah, the panel that hid in the underground was propped up and wide open. Be careful when you where you step, okay? I only fell into the other opening once, you know. <laughs> Poor thing. Okay, so I think. I mean, because that's just gonna be part of the same sword, even though it's two different things. I mean, it's just gonna be the same yeah. thing. Yeah. So I think it's time to put some logic together here. Yes. All right, now number one. Ooh, we got a lot of stuff. We have the door landing outside. The lock was intact. Was it not locked in the broken sword prop? Broken clean in half. I would say that was probably used to keep the door shut. Yep. Boom. Like they put it in the handle. Well, I was thinking maybe like putting it under the door frame to get it jammed. On under the, the door there, frame? Using the handle to get it jammed. But why? I don't know. We'll find out what they think about it. No, you. It, since it's one of those handles, they put it through the handle. So that uh, when they I, open I, it, it will, will stop the door now. from... I think I know what you mean. Yeah. Now. It's a bit strange that the police had to force their way into Come an Come on, you've seen room. movies. <laughs> I know. When they get the pristine door lock and anyone can see that it was not in use at the time. But the policeman outside said it took 10 men to get it open. Hmm. The door was locked tight despite it not being locked at all. It could only be because of this. Yep. Oh, you mean... Yes, it was, un it was used to jam the door. Here, take a look at the door handle. You see how the handle is completely destroyed? Because it was in there. Yeah. So that's how the sword broke. 
Under the door? Listen, you can, <laughs> you know how people like you get those little little door stoppers. How would the handle the door? break if it was under the door? Because I'm a dummy, okay? <laughs> All right, now. There are three cups. I guess you connect cups. the three cups to the three folding chairs. I just want to make sure what between us I say. They are on top of the table. The coffee looks like it was poured today. And folding chairs, three of them were set up. It's very likely these kidnappers sat on these. So the three kidnappers <laughs> had three cups of coffee. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Yep. There we go. What if it didn't? The common denominator between the cups and the folding chairs. <gasps> Math terms. Is number three. Speaking of which. The number of missing costumes is also three. Oh, uh, wait. But I thought there were only two kidnappers. Indeed, something isn't adding up. Literally. Is it <laughs> possible there is a third kidnapper that Lance didn't see? That's a problem. I thought that we might uncover the true identity of the kidnappers. But instead, we've only uncovered more questions that need to be answered. Okay. Here's a possibility I have from the way that Lance was acting. Now, I know it's a video game, so obviously they kind of maybe want to pipe things up but what if lance was in on the kidnapping for a kind of extortion scheme does that make sense because hmm. maybe because the whole point of this is wasn't his wasn't his didn't he get kidnapped and his and he was asking for a thousand dollars to get his it was son a back? million dollars or a million dollars sorry a thousand <laughs> yeah. kidnapped for a thousand dollars that's some that would be insanity right there yeah. but I think that's happened, I mean, I'm sure it's happened before in real life of, you know, faking a kidnapping, so that's like, I need money, my dad's rich, I know, I'm gonna fake a kidnapping and be like, give me a million dollars from my own dad, and especially because, but that doesn't bring in, we need to know more about why Deacon, or also with his real name. Dude, remember of, uh, the, 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 Colin the, Devere. the tender lenders after him. Yes. So... The tender letters after was it after was there were they? Because Viola sent him a letter, remember? Yeah. It's there. Yeah, I just want to remember quote unquote love letter. Cause yeah, this was yeah, it was for Lance. Yep. So he'd have a good reason to want to fake his own kidnapping. Cause he needs and, the money. Yep. And now we and know. And he can't just be like, hey dad, can I borrow a million dollars? Yeah, and now we we also know the servant was an escaped convict. Yeah. So we just I just we just need to find out why exactly Colin Devoray was murdered. And then who the third person is. Now my theory on the third person would be the girlfriend because she had already somehow known he was kidnapped, which oh, makes Lauren? it sound like a suspicion in there. Was yeah, it Lauren, Lauren or Laura? Uh let's find out from I think the, it was Lauren. Uh, she wants to be on the Yeah, side. Lauren. Lauren. So yeah, I'd assume that the trio is gonna be Lauren, Lance, and uh, Oliver slash Colin. Mm. So that'd be my assumption, but we need to know why one of the two of them would murder Oliver yeah. slash Colin. You don't know what to call him anymore because he's got two names, the fake one and the real Colliver. one. Oliver. Colin. God damn it. So let's keep going with this. Oh, oh God. my God. I actually did not like that. I didn't either. Why is this a thing? I, oh, my God. I act genuinely felt fear. What the fuck? Oh my god. I genuinely got scared. This better be Meekins. Like, this is a horror game. Oh. Ah! <laughs> what is it? Um. <laughs> I mean, I think I did the voice for this thing, didn't I? I. I don't know. Because <laughs> remember at the beginning, I was like, well, well, Mr. Edwards, am I correct? Yeah, that's right. Because yeah. it was the proto badge. What, what are you doing suddenly popping out of the secret entrance like that? I should go this. This underground passage used by a staff member, sir. Because he's an underground. Yeah. <laughs> we better that must make use of it in our duties. Look, why don't you get out of there first and then we'll talk, okay? I beg your pardon, miss. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please <laughs> get this. Badger. <laughs> Proto Badger, get. All right. Only one more to go. What are you getting all excited about? <gasps> Did you forget the photo rally? Duh, there's literally a sign for it right next to you. Yeah. See, look, now all I have to do is get a picture of the bad badger and I'm done. Ah, uh, yes. I think they're call a contest or something of that sort. Oh. Please don't leave. We don't need you to leave. Oh. Okay, why did you just, why did you just leave? Whoa, whoa, it's gone. But where did it go? Huh? What happened? What's wrong? A bad badger costume is missing, sir. Oh, is that all? Well, it's missing because the kidnapper stole it. I heard about how they were stolen. 
But they said only three of the costumes had been taken. What? Is he saying that more than three of them are gone? M Mr. Proto Badger, please tell me a little more about these costumes you use. Okay, I guess I gotta go t t talk to him. <laughs> what did you mean by a bad badger costume is missing? Well, just what I said, sir. We are one bad badger short. Counting the squares, we have two of each costume on hand at all times. Okay, <laughs> so because one of them is walking around in the park. The other should be in that room. Uh, actually, both of them should be in that room. Huh? What do you mean? Normally, we don't use the bad badger costumes. In fact, we only use them during a certain event at a set time each day. Just to stay sure, the bad badger wreaks havoc around the park. And the other, bad other badgers must work together to apprehend him, sir. I'm speechless as such a show exists. Well, sir, I was just trying to explain to you the only time we use that costume. Then doesn't it... Then doesn't that make... Then doesn't that make it near impossible to take a picture of the Bad Badger? Personally, I can't believe that it's this close to the show time and there's no costume. Oh dear, what am I to do, sir? All this basically means that the kidnappers stole four costumes in total. Then are you saying that there are four kidnappers? No, I don't think that's very likely. Oh? I call the costumes for a minute. The stolen ones, you mean? Hmm, what proves that a fourth kidnapper does not exist? I mean... Because that's still there? I would there? assume that being there because you'd think they would want to go for all different costumes. Yeah. That'd be my assumption is that that one's still there. But... If you had four people and you had one to steal a fourth costume. It's right there. <laughs> wouldn't you naturally go for the full set and steal a pink badger costume instead? Yeah, that makes sense. And yet the kidnappers decided to steal another bad badger. I believe the Copas needed two bad badger costumes, but the question is why? Okay, so they had to do a switch at some point then. That's the point of a bad mm. of having a matching costumes is to like a magic act to have a body double to switch out. Mm. You know how they teleport from here to there because you've got two of them. <laughs> I don't want to. Don't lean in at me like that. God, I'm going over here. Okay. We got logic that, now. When he popped up, <laughs> that genuinely alarmed me. I was not expecting that. Okay, so we have an unaccounted for bad badger. And we also have. Like it that, wouldn't be as bad if it had eyes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. It's terrifying. The costume pieces in the trash bin, yeah. I think that's the tool belt for the bad badger. Not that we've really seen him that much. No, it but is. It is. Yeah, because I think we have... Well, I mean, we can I go back. I pointed it out uh, last episode, I believe. Uh, not the pamphlet. Uh, we got the... Not the photo. We need We need the book. The Blue Badger... The Bible. <laughs> cold. Yeah, yeah, see? So it's a Bad Badger broken costume. So that... Not in the logic part yet. There we go. Into the logic. Into and then the we go, logic. Boom. And boom. Let me hear you say, way yo. way yo. <laughs> With the my personality. Come on. I said, boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say, way yo. I mean, that's an interesting way to say whale. <laughs> there. The second Bad Badger costume, I believe it may be closer at hand than we think. Mm, what do you mean? That costume in the trash. Wouldn't you say that it's wearing some very telltale pants? Like telltale games? Like <laughs> The Walking Dead? We talking, we talking the Wolf Among Us? What are we talking about? <laughs> hey, you're right. Let's get it out of there and take a look. Could be a Bigby costume. No. Dead oh, it's as it pants. should be. Well, it's the whole upper... Costume. No, I thought it was a... You and I both thought it was a belt. But it's pants it's wearing. See that? It's wearing pants, not a belt. I guess. I, I just imagine that it's... I mean, it would be part of the costume in the first place. But as big as a bad badger costume. It's not overthink the costume. I mean, the, the character <laughs> is wearing pants. Well, yeah. We both thought it was a belt. Well, no, I'm just talking about the brown loop around him. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, we're, well, we're talking too head. much about pants. <laughs> well, we know where the head is. Right? Yeah, we have the spare What's head. What's with that, the that hand? The What's on the hand? Oh, we're going to be looking at that. Because we got to look at every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Yeah. All right. Now, is there anything on the Go top the I can touch? Yeah, that's gonna hand be... first. Okay, okay. I need answers. I need hand <laughs> Oh, look, no. Look, its hand is hurt. Hmm? Looks more like something was ripped off of it. Interesting. Okay. And then we have just the costume. I wonder why this Bad Badger costume's right hand is torn up like that. Hmm, maybe it's the... Maybe it's a flesh wound from a fight with the blue badger. 
I always knew the blue badger was a ferocious, one ferocious beast. I yeah. somehow <laughs> doubt that even real badgers are as bloodthirsty as that, Kay. Have you seen a honey badger, Mr. <laughs> Edgeworth? <laughs> oh, no, badgers are pretty... Honey badger don't care. Honey badger, snatch that little hand. Okay, I... <laughs> well, okay, all we have is that and then that. So I guess we would probably deduce... But with what it got do we ripped. have? How? This specimen connected to any of the evidence I hold. Well, it has to, so let's think real quick. Okay, not the dossier. The sword, the love maybe? Letter. No. I don't think that would make sense. The blue badger mobile, no. How um, would it get ripped? Can't really see much about him, so that doesn't make sense. Stolen costumes, no. The Bible, no. Is there anything on the? Is he's holding his hat? Um, hmm. I don't... Let's see. We're looking at the back, I think. I can't tell. No, that might be the front. This yeah, is the, the front. front. What do you mean the back? Sorry, the back's all blue. It's the way the feet were pointed. It makes it look like it's supposed to be the other way around. But so Not really. Because when, so, you're, when you're on your back, you know, your, your feet go out like this. Yeah. So, that's its gun hand. So, if someone shot him in the gun, or the gun exploded his hand, I think... I think we're gonna have to go with the Bible on this one. I don't know. Go with the Bible. Go with the Bible. You only said Eureka. I believe what we have here is an inconsistency. Oh, his gun got torn off of his hand. Oh, is it supposed to be? It was. It's part of a costume because they yeah. can have actual guns, so they tore it off and put a real gun there. Yeah, like on the Mass Singer, how they attach the mic to the hand. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Between what? Look carefully. Our costume is not holding something in its right hand than it should be. Hmm. Oh, the gun! Precisely. The Bad Badger was designed to hold a gun in his right hand. However... It got ripped off. You there. Did you remove the gun from this Bad Badger's right hand? No, I did not, sir. The gun is supposed to be securely attached to the costume. As I thought. The rip itself confirms in my hypothesis that the gun was forcibly removed. Mr. Proto Badger, the gun is, of course, not a functioning weapon, correct? Absolutely not, sir. It's just a model gun. However, it can fire blanks. We need to use them for the stage show. Seems there are kidnappers also had a need for the model gun, my dear costume friend. Huh. Interesting, interesting. So, they took Officer Meekin's real gun at some point to switch it out with the fake gun and use that for a murder of sorts. Think we're about done with this room. So, what's next? Well, we found a few answers, but there are still a few things left that we have to ask a certain person about. Let's go, Kay. March 13, 3.34 p.m. Wild, wild west area. Mr. Edgeworth, sir. Oh, God. You gotta hurry, sir. Come on. Oh, boy. What is a detective? They found a blue badger costume down in front of the main gate, sir. What? Isn't that what what isn't that what one of the kidnappers was wearing? Bingo, that's why you gotta come with the main gate with me right now. If we hurry, you still might be able to get there before Wolf Boy does, sir. Wolf Boy, yes. Alright, let's make haste to the main gate. Wolf Boy. That's what I call him too. Yeah, I know. Poor guy. Wolf Boy, Wolf Man. Ow! Ow! Alright, time to save. Beep boop 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 beep. Time to save and get this mystery solved. Boop, 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 boop. You can you play beat, that song that goes you, beat, you, you boop, finally boop, boop, beat boxed. <laughs> I, I know I've done it's, some previous it's, videos. It's been, it's, a it's been a while. Yeah. I've kept it under control for the most part. For the most part. Not, at, not off camera. You will not <laughs> stop off camera. You have camera. a good point. Where's the costume detective gumshoe? Just on the other side of the fountain, sir. Oh, God. Was it out here in the open all along? No, it was discovered in the tall grass back there. We moved it out here in order to examine it more thoroughly. So I see a necklace. It. I do too. The horse still has some secondary suspicions looking new and cranny. All right. Is it going to have is... to do with the horse one? The pendant? We'll have to see what this is because what do we have here? <gasps> wings. Pegasus. Hey, yes. Pegasus. Pe the Pegasus, uh, <clears throat> Pegasus plane. Remember? Yeah. Oh, it's another pendant. Those two treasures in one day. Oh, that's two treasures in one day. How lucky is that? And hey, this pretty baby's made of platinum silver, too. Another pendant on top of the one we found on Mr. Deacon. Is it possible that these two... Uh... Hold her right there! I'm guessing that's him. 
Yep. There's his music. Yeah. <laughs> Hands off, Mr. Prosecutor. You shouldn't have had to cross the line, don't you? Mm. <laughs> a pendant, huh? This is a very decisive piece of evidence. Is it, though? How can you tell? Look here and read off what you see. Oh. Yep, Lauren, Lauren. that confirms that confirms hey, the suspicion. Hey, it's, it's a name that's engraved down this. Yep, that's a, that confirms the suspicion that that was her dad. <clears throat> that does create the problem, though, that she said that her dad was missing, and so she... Yeah, well, I guess she, she... Well, like we said, actually, she didn't know what her dad looked like anymore. Yeah. So she wouldn't be able to tell that Oliver Deacon was her dad. Yeah. Even though he wore the and same it would make pendant. So, yeah, because the... So they can still have worked together without knowing Because they obviously on. go together. I mean, Pegasus, you know, a yeah. horse and wings. And this proves that she was involved in the plot. So we have yeah. two of the kidnappers figured out. And I think the third one is our boy... Uh, not Armano. Uh, uh, what is this? Uh, Lance. Amano. That's what I was thinking. You were close. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking. I was too busy thinking of freaking. Isn't Armano, Diego che Armando. Cheese? Uh, maybe, Armano cheese? Armano cheese. Did you say the Lauren line yet? Yeah. Okay. Miss Palps pendant. Well, that gets us some. Uh, I, I... You got some splaining to do. <laughs> <laughs> we have you now, Miss Kidnapper. No, you don't understand. I, I. That's you. I know. I'm just actually maybe they're framing her for it. Cause she can't, she could be innocent still, and Lance could be because she was saying that they hadn't really officially stated anything about being in a relationship yet. So maybe no. Lance was just using her as like, oh, oh damn, I need the daughter's a scapegoat. Maybe that's the point behind this all. Lala. I can't believe you were one of the, my kidnappers. Lance! Hmm. You're kidding! Miss Pops is one of the kidnappers? Yes. Oh, well, now she's admitted to it. Okay. It it was me. I held Lance hostage. So Miss Pops is one of the kidnappers. But even knowing that, I can't call this case solved. Or over. No way. Hey, guys. Case closed. Get the car ready, and I mean the special one for this young lady. <laughs> Again, Mr. Prosecutor? What is it this time? Are you proposing that Miss Palps is also the culprit in the murder case? It's literally just Pops. <laughs> yeah. Like Lolly Pops, Lauren Pops. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah. Because she has happened? the ring. I thought Austin Meekins was your suspect. <laughs> we found it. Found what? That officer's gun. He literally dropped it in the middle of a thick patch of grass. Your country's police are a sham. Just look at how careless they are. Who you calling a sham? Oof. The officer's gun didn't show signs of having been fired, so it can so it can't be the murder weapon. So Officer Meekins has been cleared of all charges, I see. That's good at least. And that's when a brand new suspect comes walking onto the scene. The murder only happened because the kidnappers started fighting amongst themselves. As I recall, it was you who said that, right, Mr. Prosecutor? Oh, infighting, yeah. Miss mm. Pops, did you... Did you really kill Mr. Deacon? I... Yes, I killed him. Some don't seem right. No. I, I can't believe it. <laughs> Thanks for the confession. Agent Lang, it's much too early to declare this case closed. She said that too slowly. Yeah. Look at you, so sure of yourself. We got the culprit's own confession some very incriminating evidence. What more could you ask for? Miss Lauren po Pops. Pops. <laughs> yes. I want to hear it from you. Tell me your side of all that has happened today from the kidnapping to the murder. But but why? I, I'm a kidnapper and a killer. Isn't that enough? Oh, God. Um, don't cut your hair. That's, 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 that's fine. You don't have to do that. It's fine if you're the only, it's fine if you're the one behind everything. Who are you, Sakura? What are you doing? <laughs> but only if that's the truth. That is the truth. Evan does not get that reference. I, uh, Naruto is not my thing. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be my thing back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> now then, will you tell us the truth? Or is there some reason why you can't? Like, like, like. Like, I cosplayed <laughs> Sasuke, for God's sake. Mm. I've had a change of heart. I think I'd enjoy seeing you sulk away as the losing mutt. All right, you heard me. Let's hear about all the evil deeds you committed today. Whew. 
I get to ass. talk more as her, yes. <laughs> the one who came up with the kidnapping plan was the butler, Mr. Deacon. We knew that we could get rich by holding Lance hostage. Mr. Romano would pay anything to get his son back after all. Everything was going according to plan, but as soon as we got the money, Mr. Deacon turned on me and tried to kill me. Hmm. There. Are you satisfied? She just confessed to her crimes a second time. At least you have the guts to admit what you've done. I can at least respect that much. Miss Pops, is what you just said really the truth? Y yes it is. If that's the truth, it certainly isn't the whole truth. Yeah. Because there is something that seems a bit too improbable in her confession. Let's go through that again. All right. The one who came up with the kidnapping plan was the butler, Mr. Deacon. We knew that we could get rich by holding Lance hostage. Mr. Mono would pay anything to get his son, his son back, after all. Everything was going according to plan, but as soon as we got the money, Mr. Deacon turned on me and tried to kill me. What? Wouldn't happen, because yeah. he's your father. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think he did? I have no idea, but maybe he had planned on doing so from the very beginning. Miss Pops... Wait, Mr. Deacon planned to kill Miss Pops from the very beginning? Was that ever really likely to happen? What should I do? Should I raise an objection? Raise an objection! Yes, always. I'm sorry, but I don't think what you just claimed is all that likely. Huh? I don't think Mr. Deacon would have ever been capable of killing you. But why? We were total strangers! Mm. It's not uncommon for people to kill each other over... Oh, God. Miss mm. Pops, you really are clueless, aren't you? <laughs> What, what, what do you mean? You never knew what your role in the kidnapping was, nor do you know who you really are. But I do, and I can show you with this piece of evidence. This proves Mr. Deacon wouldn't have been able to bring himself to kill Miss Pop. The horse. Why are you showing this to me? So what about the pendant? Calm down, this dude. This horse <laughs> along with this piece of evidence shows who you really are. I mean, and then I would assume that's the now her pendant. Yep. These two pennants resemble each other, wouldn't you agree? Hey, you're right. They're the same color, they're even made of the same material. I believe these that these two pendants are actually one. Eh? Shall we give it a try? Yep, Pegasus. Wow, it's it's totally Pegasus! But, but why? Why does my pendant match up with Mr. Deacon's? You're a smart lady. I'm sure you can imagine why that might be. What? no, that can't be! So the two make a set. Huh. It's just another trinket. It's not as though it changes anything. Oh my god, dude. You're <laughs> so hard-headed. <sighs> you lack imagination, Agent Lang. Very well, I'll show you with this evidence. This is the piece of evidence that gives meaning to this Pegasus pendant. Ah, uh, ah, uh, The uh, thing that says uh, that he... I was about to say, I gotta remember. Is it, his, is it the Colin Devere dossier? You or mean dossier? It, or dossier? Or do wait? Do we have? Didn't we have a statement from her actually? No, we don't. Okay, so we just heard it from her. But that's right. Yeah. Uh, let me check on here and see if there's anything about it on here. Uh, we thought he might head to work for his wife and sole daughter up as spider surveillance. He has yet to show up. Hmm. We don't really have. I mean, that would be the most likely thing. Well, because he said he served his wife and daughter. Yeah. Yeah. It just doesn't connect the name exactly, but no. Yeah, Oliver Deacon was just an a lot, just an a Elias alias for this. You man. almost said Elias. That sounds like a that sounds like a Final Fantasy name. <laughs> His real name was Colin Devere, the name that is etched on this horse pendant. What an alias! I suppose he had to hide the fact that he was a felon somehow in order to live, and it makes sense given what is written in. And it makes sense given what is written in Devere's dossier. 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 I have always heard it as dossier. Really? I've heard it that way before. But I could be wrong. I don't know. But what I really wanted to point out was this. I've heard someone call it dossier. So I wouldn't I don't be surprised. Because it's French, I believe. This specific one is what reveals the things. And I was a. So I never got it's it, always something ever. French that we both don't know 100% how to pronounce never. it. Someone in the comments, please enlighten us. But be gentle, because, you know, <laughs> yeah. it's it's it, not something you read every you know, day. It might be one of those things that can be said both, both ways. ways. It's yeah. been Americanized to be dossier. Like visage and visage and all yeah. the, like, 
Yeah. Mr. Devere had a, a one daughter, and her name is Lauren Pops. Lauren Pops. That's a lie! That person was not my father! He couldn't come out and tell you it was your father because he was in hiding. However, I believe he was trying to see, secretly watch over you. Oh, That's sad. Do you still believe that a man like that could kill the daughter he was separated from? Or even that such a man would allow his daughter to get involved in a kidnapping plot? <laughs> what a so funny, Agent Lang. You're good at making things up in your head and deciding it's the truth, aren't you? What are you trying to say? Your thinking's much too innocent. After all, I've thought of another possibility. Is that so? Well, let's hear it. That he does would be willing to kill his daughter. He's a criminal with a heartless soul. He wouldn't. He wouldn't mind murdering her in a second. It's but you know what? <laughs> we'll have to see what I have to say next time. Uh, yeah, you, you. What about you, me, huh? You. You gonna fight me? You, you wanna fight? You, you wanna need kiss? some. You, you, fight? you huh? need huh? some huh? anger huh? management classes. You're. You're probably right. 